Hey everybody, I got some samples here and these were a gift from my follower Markel. So big shout out Markel. Thank you so much for sending these over. And some of the fragrances are Feb Delicious by Dior. I have tried this before and I think it is a lovely fragrance. I don't think it's as gourmand as people say it is though. Like they say it smells like you want to eat it, but I just think it's a pleasing smell. I don't get edible vibes from it. There's one here called Rouge or Smoking Rouge. Smoking Rouge by BDK. Lots of you have told me to try that one. We've got Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. I really, really want to try this one. So that's the one I'm going to test. We got Blouse by YSL. This is one of their private blends. Ooh, damn, you came in with the bangers, Markel. Thank you, bro. And this is Diptyque. Oh, Dwell? Dwell it? Dwell? Oh, uh. And... This fragrance right here called Italica by Sershoff. So I have tried this one. I believe this is the really sweet gourmand toffee fragrance, if I remember that correctly. So let me just try, pick a couple of these to try. Let's do apple brandy and blouse. Let me put you guys right here and I'll put this, put them in my sample box. So, okay, apple brandy is gonna go on my right wrist. And we're going to get that first impression right now. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. Smells like apples. <laughs> and brandy. Wow, it's literally... Ooh. Is there some honey in this fragrance also? Or has it just been a while since I've had brandy? It literally smells like apples. That's crazy. Usually the fragrances that I've tried apple in, it's just kind of been like an added layer to make it more fresh and tart. But this fragrance literally smells like an apple that you cut into. So I like that a lot. It's good in the air. It's really good up close as well, but I loved, I'm gonna spray more of it actually. Let's see how long this lasts. I like it though. Mm. I like this fragrance. This is kind of like a gourmand to me. This smells like something I want to just like bite into. You know what I'm saying? Put this around your neck. Get everybody around your neck. I like this. A little bit boozy. I definitely get more of that apple in the opening. Kind of like a crunchy, juicy apple. Now, oh man, that's all I smell right now. That's mixing a little bit with my tobacco vanille. This might just be a fire layering combination right now. Damn, that's nice. Blouse. Blouse, blouse, blouse. I believe blouse is a unisex fragrance. Let's hit it a couple times. And with the apple brandy one, I see that as unisex as well. It's very gourmand like. So I think any. Ooh. Blouse leans feminine. That smells really good. That like, if I smelt that on a girl, I, I would definitely be like, whoa, 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 like, what was that? I'm already stuttering. You heard me. Mm. So there is some floral in this fragrance, but there's like a juiciness, like a fruitiness to this scent. Was it lychee that I got right off the top? Because for me, I am a sucker for lychee. I love eating it. I love smelling it in fragrances. And it's always something that I find to be really, really sexy. Okay, so... Wow, that's really nice. It's kind of like mix some like extra florals in Delina. It kind of smells a little bit similar with, I, it has to be lychee, it has to be. And then there's probably like smells similar to, it's like, you know, with Very Good Girl, just very, it's a very feminine type of scent, but I can already tell like I would compliment somebody that was wearing this fragrance. I find it to be really, really sexy. And at the same time, it's also clean. It's seductive. It's not like a sweet fragrance, you know? This is a great year-round scent, especially if you live in Southern California. Like, this smells super good. I don't know how long it lasts for, though, because this is our first impression. Holy shit, I would love to smell this on a girl. This, it just smells sexy. It smells sexy. The DNA isn't too, like, how do I say it? Like, it's it's familiar. You know, it's a, it's a familiar type of scent, Nothing unique, but in a way, like, I just, it's, I'm drawn to this fragrance very, very much. So I think with Apple Brandy, yeah, definitely more of, 
I don't want to say boozy, but it is a unisex fragrance. I see it if you're in like a high-end lounge, you know what I mean? And you're just with some like high-end people, some high rollers. That's what apple brandy smells like. More in like an evening kind of event, wearing like a cashmere sweater or something like that. Woman, man, just looking sexy as fuck, honestly. This is just that fragrance that has, how do I say it? Just kind of, there's like a cool, sophisticated, suave vibe with apple brandy. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, shit. This is probably the one I would wear more, apple brandy, but I would love to smell blouse on other women. Okay, if you're a guy watching this, I would say if you want something more masculine between these two, go the apple brandy route. If you're a girl that wants more of like bad bitch, go apple brandy route. If you want kind of like good girl next door, then go blouse. But holy shit, I love those two fragrances. I will be testing Smoking Rouge and another one just because I want to only smell these two right now and I'm about to have hot chicken, hot Korean chicken. Really excited. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.